In this Tunis office of the Elections Authority, Tariq Mejri is submitting his documents to become a candidate for the first time. I feel happy to be the first in my neighborhood to submit my candidacy. This radio host doesn't have political experience. He comes from the working class neighborhood of Mnihla and he's often involved in community projects. The new electoral law allows him to run as an individual without party support, but he needs 400 signatures from registered voters in his constituency to sponsor him. The new electoral law was really against parties and against a corrupt machine. At the same time, we found in this law some challenges, precisely because as individual candidates, we don't have the same international machine behind us. Financial machines, a party machine. In his neighborhood, where Tarek speaks with young people, many find it difficult to restore their faith in politics. The new electoral law has its own problems. There's little supervision on sponsorship, and even the president admitted there have been breaches of rules. Ramzi, who's supporting Tarek, accepted to speak to us anonymously. As we are all unemployed here, we don't have money. There are some candidates who come to you and say, hey, I'll drive you to the election office and give you 15 or 10 dinars. You sponsor me and leave. This happened so many times. I'm one of the people who did it. Civil society election observer groups criticize the new electoral law because it doesn't guarantee equality for candidates. There is still a male-dominated culture in society, especially in interior regions. It's difficult for women to run and campaign. We're worried there won't be many women in the new parliament. Out of more than 1,400 candidates who submitted to run in the elections, just over 200 are women.